Hey, Rose here with another online dating tip for you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about how to know the guy you just met online is going to ask you for nudes in the very near future. <laughs> okay, so we are going to cover uh, introductions, okay? Like when you just get, the very first time you get on a video call with someone, you can tell that this person is going to ask you for nudes, okay? based on how he greets you okay based on how he behaves while you are doing your very first video call you will know that this person is going to ask you for nudes and this video is actually inspired by a discussion we had the other day and i was thinking about that discussion and i was like i must make a quick video about this because i think it can help you so um when you meet somebody online on a dating app, obviously the very first step that you need to take is to get on a video call, okay? Uh, to verify that you are real, okay? Because these days it's very easy to be talking to robots and as you're verifying that you are real, it's very important that you make him do random things, okay? I'm not even gonna mention what you should make him do. Like it's you to come up with something that is gonna show you this person is real. If you see somebody is always sitting like the way I'm sitting here. Okay, actually I could be a robot because I'm always sitting here. If you see somebody is always sitting on the same spot, okay? When you're video calling and they're not doing anything, they're just sitting there and, and they're doing nothing else. Uh, be very careful because you could actually be talking to a scammer. Uh, the most important thing is to make them move around, okay, because this, um, this software they are using, obviously they're going to connect it to the computer and everything, so it's only uh, based in one spot in the house, right? So make them do random things, move around, do something to prove that this person is real. And also you have to do the same, you have to prove that you're real. Now, uh, as you are doing this video call, the very first, um, when you sit down now, you know, you greet each other. The way he greets you, you will know that this person is going to ask you for nudes. For example, you meet somebody and as soon as you get on camera, you say, hey, sexy. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you don't know me <laughs> we, we don't know each other we have not reached anywhere we, I, we don't know in okay so he, he's like oh sex oh hi sexy or he's like hey sugar mm? so he's sort of like um objectifying you okay he's just looking at you and already he has seen what you should say, send him <laughs> because i feel like a respectful person when you sit down to introduce yourself to somebody that you have never spoken to on a video call before i know you have exchanged few texts and then you arranged for this video call to take place right so a normal introduction would be oh hi rose it's finally nice to see you on a video call it's finally nice to see a face you know on a video call and to put a face on those uh, texts and, and those pictures that I've seen and the bio that I have read, it's really nice to see now the real person, you know, who is behind the dating app and the dating bio and, and the, the pictures. Okay. Or just, oh, hi Rose. Nice, oh, nice to finally see you on a video call. How are you? That's normal. Okay, and then of course you'll be like, hey, hi Alex, oh, nice to see you too. And then, okay, I'm not saying that somebody cannot compliment you, okay? It's polite to compliment somebody, especially if you really mean what you're saying about the person. So if somebody says like, hi Rose, oh, it's finally nice to see you. Oh my goodness, you look so beautiful on a video call. That is nice. Then you'll be like, oh, thank you so much. Oh, you don't look so bad yourself. You're handsome. That is polite and that is acceptable. What is not acceptable is high sexy, high hot stuff. Oh my goodness, you're so hot. Oh wow, look at those, mm, fill the blanks. That, that, like I'm not gonna, you shouldn't even be entertaining that kind of video call because when somebody comes at you that way, 
then you know where it's heading because the next place it's heading now on the next video call he'll be like okay oh you know oh hi sexy oh my goodness you're so sexy why are you all covered up i need to see more of you i need to see more of you that's what they do so as soon as somebody greets you the very first greetings on a video call you should be able to tell that this person is a joker this person is gonna ask you for nudes and then you should be able to cut that video call and go about your business because that is a waste of time. But unfortunately, I see a lot of ladies leaving comments. They're like, oh my God, why is he asking me for nudes? Why is he always asking me for nudes? It's because he, he, he showed you the signs in, in, in the beginning and you accepted. He was, he was like, oh, hi, sexy. And then you're like, oh, hi, hi. Okay, fine. Then you, ac you have accepted. I feel like if somebody was to greet you like that, you'd be like, hey, sorry, we don't know each other like that. Okay, this is our first video call. I think it's about introducing ourselves. It's like, I, I don't appreciate that. And the thing is, a lot of ladies, African ladies on those dating apps, they are not, they are not actually, um, they are not having confidence like you're not having confidence on those dating apps you're just letting people just you know talk to you however they feel like they ask you some ridiculous questions they ask you all kinds of things and you are there to entertain them and to give them time time is money okay don't waste your time with somebody who is there in fact if you look at somebody's bio you can tell okay you can tell why that person is there you'll see there's this there's actually this girl i have seen um doing like um sharing i i guess she's like sharing her journey on <laughs> what is going wrong on 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 the dating apps she's on dating apps and one of the things she said she actually she actually shared yesterday was a video of screenshots of converse, conversations that she's been having and a lot of those um bios when you look at those profiles that she's looking at you can tell those people are just jokers so because somebody is like oh i like cuddling and i like being in bed in all day and i like having sex okay uh, i mean okay so if you see somebody like that and you have read the bio then you know what they are about okay they are just about you know nothing serious to be honest so Pay attention to when you do a video call with somebody. See how they greet you, okay? See how they actually conduct themselves. If somebody comes on a video call and they are not wearing a shirt, they are, they are, they are just bare-chested. That already is a red flag. Why? Let me ask you, okay? Because a video call, the first video call, it's like the first date, okay? So, how would you feel if you went for a coffee date, I don't know, whatever date it is, and somebody showed up without their clothes on? How would you feel? Because this is what they are doing. They come on a video call, you arranged, you said what time it should be and everything, and then they come without wearing, they, they are not wearing a shirt. They are just bare-chested. That is so disrespectful, okay? Because you are not there. You, are, you don't know each other that well. You don't know each other to that point of somebody coming without their clothes, without their t-shirt or, or their shirt on. Okay? And this is why I also tell you ladies, when you get on a video call, don't, don't send the wrong message. Dress properly. Okay? dress properly because this person is somebody that you don't know you are you're just getting to know each other as time goes by if you guys end up in a relationship and you end up now having this long distance relationship then now i mean it's up to you i cannot tell you what to do but because you are getting to know this person do not be suggestive okay don't be suggestive don't give them a reason to 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 play with you because you are not there to play. And as I said, if somebody is respectful, they are going to greet you in a respectful manner. Okay? They are going to say, hi, Rose, it's, it's, it's nice to finally see you on a video call. How are you? And then you can take it from there. 
but hi sexy oh my god you're so hot and i know you guys take it as 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 a compliment you're like oh my god he finds me sexy oh my goodness and it's some zungu oh wow and then you make say you you start making excuses you're like that's how mzungus talk that's not it's not it's not people are supposed to be respectful and you being an african if somebody is behaving like that you you know just behaving like that because you are an african you should be very offended you are, they they're supposed to respect you a man is a man and if he's serious about finding somebody and getting to know somebody he's supposed to respect you and this is why i have this this thing where i am absolutely 100% against you sending your naked pictures to anyone and this is this is a fight i have in fact i have three fights that i always fight okay i have the fight about the nude pictures okay because some of them disagree with me some of the ladies disagree with me they're like oh yeah that's how we keep things spicy that's how we spice things up what what things are you spicing up what things are you spicing up another thing is another fight i always i always fight is the fight about asking for money you know how, when should i ask for money when should i ask for money when should shouldn't he be sending me money by now i've been talking to him for two months i've been talking to him for three months shouldn't he be i feel like the thing is if somebody if somebody wants to help you out or wants as i i keep saying if he wants to spoil spoil you for something you don't need to beg him to do anything if he feels in his in his spirit he feels in his heart that he wants to give you something he will and if you he, he feels you are his woman you have built that connection to that level where he feels this girl like she she's the one you know she she's mine then you don't have to beg for anything you don't have to ask him for anything in fact he's the in fact you're the one who is going to be telling babe i really don't need money at the moment I, i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay just save that money so you can come and see me quicker okay save that money for the flight for the hotel and everything okay the that fight i fight i have been fighting it like i this last week i i i, I don't even have energy to make content like i've been fighting and this this is something that i'm not going to give up on Okay like I'm coming I'm actually coming now with more content about this is the fight about old white men taking advantage of our young african girls that I'm not giving up I'm not giving up on that okay I am coming back with <sighs> stay tuned tell your friends to subscribe to my youtube channel tell your friends your young friends who are on dating apps tell them tell them tell the girls come on tell them to subscribe to my youtube channel because i feel like i cannot tell you what to do okay but i can give you tools okay because if i tell you oh don't date old white men you have so many other uh, content creators who have made it their business to be like just go with whatever comes your way even if he's 90 years just take him as long as he can take you to europe or to america so i cannot tell you don't date old people or don't do that but i can at least give you tools to help you so you can be healthy so you don't turn into an alcoholic so you can at least advance in your studies or do something or get a job or do something okay because dating a, an old white man it's it's a case of you uh, deciding how many years of your 20s you are going to waste that's what it is okay so because a lot of them are on those dating apps in fact the the lady the young lady i just mentioned who is sharing her, her journey on 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 those dating apps she showed up a profile of somebody who is 60 80 years old and he's looking for a girl who is 21 in fact this particular lady the, the content creator i think she's like 20, i think like 24 or something maybe 25 i think he said she's too old she's too old for him he's 68 is looking for a girl who is uh, age maximum 21 I'm coming with this content today I just wanted you to uh, to know how you can tell that somebody is actually going to ask you for nudes during the very first 
video call. You can tell this person in the very new, near future, he's going to ask me for nudes. He's going to tell me to take my clothes off on a video call. He's going to tell me to record myself without clothes and send to him. He's going to tell me to take naked pictures and send to him based on the very first video call. And if that video call goes the way I'm saying, you know, the high sexy, oh, you are so sexy. And every every time you try to sort of like, you know, get to know him. Oh, so, you know, well, what do you do for a living? Do you have brothers and sisters? He will always bring the conversation back to the sex and uh, and sexy and your body. And if you if you can uh, next next video call, if you can wear like this, if you can do this then there is no reason for a second video call because it's a waste of time. That person is a joker. That is somebody who is there just to play around with African girls. Maybe he's there to collect uh, that kind of content so he can sell it. So why are you wasting your time? Why are you entertaining him? Why are you wasting your time with that kind of person? Just disconnect that video call and block him. Go straight to, to the um, to the dating app and block him from there because he's gonna report your account. Okay, give him a piece of your mind. Okay, and then go on a video call on, on the dating app and block him. Okay, tell him you you are not a you are not a webcam model. You 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 don't do that kind of thing, and he should go and pay for those people who provide that kind of content. In fact. The, the fact that he's asking you to take off your clothes and you're not you're not uh, on those websites where girls take their clothes off that means he's broke he cannot get on those websites and pay because that content is expensive it's not free you have to pay to see it so anyway my name is rose thank you so much for coming to my youtube channel i have a lot of content i have like i have a story time i'm preparing a story time for you that is going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind. You're, you, you're, you're going to think I'm making it up. It's about myself. It's about, it's everything about myself. Okay. It's about how I lost all my twenties. And this story, I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to try and make it maybe fit into two or three videos. I'm not going to make it very long. Okay, I'm going to make um, a playlist for it so you can just watch it without having to look for it. And I think this is going this is going to make you understand why I am so passionate about this topic, about these young girls who are going, you know, on dating apps looking for very old, old, old white people. You're going to understand. Once you see that story time, you're going to understand. And I really hope, I hope, um, I hope you will share my videos because I want to, I want young women to understand things that, you know, the issue is a lot of people go abroad and then they start misleading others. And I don't like it because there was even a time I was involved in another discussion where people came and they were like, no, 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 just use any way possible. You know, just use any means possible. Just use any means to get to, uh, go, to, to go to abroad. You know, if you find as long as the, he's breathing, just use him as a bridge. And I was like, no way. In fact, I dropped out of that conversation because I was like, there's no way my face is going to be shown on, on, on this, uh, this place. Like, no way. No, 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 no way. No. Because um, I feel like a lot of uh, young women who choose this route to get abroad using old people and then they get there and then they dump, dump them and then they look for young ones. They want other young women to go the same way so we can all make the same mistake and then we are like oh we all came that way so we all used the old old white people as bridges and we, we crossed to the other side no i think it's possible to find love online if you're patient if that's what you're looking for it's possible you can go to whichever country you want to 
okay that's the beauty of online dating you can you can change location you can if you want to date american guys you can join okay cupid and ch change location you can even uh, join tinder and find somebody there are no tinder sometimes you know as i keep saying uh, some people see it as a joke but there are a lot of interracial couples that have met on tinder so it is possible to actually find someone and build a real relationship with all the challenges that come with it but it's possible the only issue we have as young african women is that we want we want shortcuts okay we want to have a shortcut and we are not even looking for love anyway we want to cross to the other side because maybe we want opportunities and stuff like that but <laughs> A lot of them get there and then they are not even able to pursue those opportunities because they are locked up, they are under house arrest. These old people, they are not as, as dumb as you think they are. Anyway, I'll come, I'll come with that content. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like this video, share it if you found it useful. And I shall see you on my next one. Bye bye for now.